What's up friends, this is Manny and it's time to start War Robots, alright? So, let's go and have some fun today. Uh, but, whoa, what is this? Your account has been suspended on suspicion of foul play. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I have been banned in War Robots uh, <laughs> uh, on the press account. Uh, not my own account, by the way. I still have access to my own account, of course. I would not ban that because uh, I did nothing wrong with uh, playing the game. Um, but the Battle Rack account or press account, whatever you want to call it, has been banned. <laughs> I explained everything in two or three minutes and then we're going to have some gameplay, okay? Give me a moment. What an eventful week indeed for War Robots, ladies and gentlemen. Yesterday I announced a large petition that all our content creators have made together, sitting down for weeks, finding the exact wording for each sentence and point that we would all feel comfortable with and share it at the same time. Uh, that was the plan anyways. Uh, and today I can announce you guys that I have my press account being banned. Um, now, first things first, this is not related. I'll speak about this in a moment and I explain that. But if you haven't yet participated in this really important petition that we all made for you to have a platform and a voice to voice your opinion and make change together with us, then down in the video description and pinned comment, you find the link to yesterday's video that explains everything and gives you the link also to the petition, okay? Unfortunately, the plan was for all creators to release this together, but they're now holding off on releasing it because they want to ask for Pixonic's permission first that they're obviously never going to get. <laughs> and uh, yeah, because they're scared that this uh, ban might happen to them as well, which it would not in case you're looking at this uh, creators. Um, it is completely unrelated, it has nothing to do with that. It goes back to the DGEMS video where I called it War Robots Bitcoins. Provocative title, I know. Um, and also misrepresented the feature. I was badly informed, I made mistakes that day. Uh, and I also tried to fix them, took down the video, made an updated video and so on. But it didn't matter for Pixonic immediately banned uh, me there and kicked me from the mentor status. And for the other creators, uh, uh, while Pixonic would never tell you, yeah, you can do it, uh, you're never gonna lose your privileges for that. It has different reasons and our petition is so positive and polite, offering a ton of ideas and allowing people to list them basically by priority what they need most from the game to be the game they love and to bring maybe uh, lost players back and so on. I'll be sharing the results with you and with Pixonic. So it's a really positive thing. I think, think you should join in as we planned, not let me hang here all by myself, guys. Uh, let's do it. Um, now, about the uh, mentor's role, not having it, what does it mean? It means I have no giveaways uh, to uh, to do. That, again, is something that hits you guys out there. You don't get them now. Um, and uh, obviously, I have no access to the press account, but I'll, I'll just do everything what I always did before, just with my account and the test server. I keep you up to date. Nothing will really change in that regard. But I must say, I really failed to see the strategic value for Pixonic behind making it di more difficult for me to record War Robots quality content for them for free. Now, it makes a little sense to me, but hey, another problem was that they hated when I did uh, promotional content for their competitive uh, mech arena. They freaking hate it. <laughs> but I value my creative freedom and I do what the frack I want on my channel next to doing completely free advertisement for your game, Pixonic. For free. And I will always think first about my viewers before I think about you, Pixonic. You should know that. Uh, but uh, yeah, since you guys have restricted access to War Robots, for me on the press account, I feel like maybe today I've had enough with War Robots. Maybe today I just want to do something else. How about we play some freaking Mech Arena, boys? Uh, again, sometimes I wonder if you even think what you're doing, Pixonic, because it seems so illogical to me um because uh, yeah now we're doing something else uh the competitive that you guys hate when i do it here on the largest most influential war robots channel that you have uh anyways uh let's do it let's play because this game is actually awesome and many things that are in the petition by the way that are already respected here we are i barely ever notice any lags in mech arena you already have this that one robot can only appear once per hangar you don't have the overpowered hangar uh, where uh, it's full of the most powerful robot doesn't exist in mech arena you have a beautiful 60 frames per second running well um yeah there are issues too uh, but uh, yeah, let's go. We also have different game modes here. Control Point Clash, 5v5 Deathmatch, and 2v2 Deathmatch, which is something we're actually wanting to see in um, War Robots 2. So yeah, let's have some fun, ladies and gents, and play Mech Arena today. So here we are, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go. Just the Manny. That's me. 
And I have a pretty good hanger, by the way, because I've played this game a lot. And um, let's start with the Orion robot. It has an interesting ability. It can mark the enemy uh, for death, basically, with this. And now what happens is that this player who has this skull, he takes only critical hits. That is a very important thing to know, because in Mech Arena there is such a thing as, um, as a critical hit system. Uh, basically, you can hit someone from behind and you will do double damage from behind. That is something Warabats doesn't have. And if you, if I mark them with this, all shots done count as critical hits. So it's, an, it's a support robot that I'm playing here because this also goes for all my teammates. Unfortunately, now I got destroyed with one of my robots and the weapons I was using is Disc Launcher. It curves around corners a little bit and has an area effect. Now, let's go with uh, the really the, the little kill shot. It's an awesome little robot. It can do this and this. Ah! Oh! Mm, I just wanted to ram him. Okay. Um, I think my rocket still killed him, though. But I, uh, I, I didn't get to ram him. All right. Let's do this thing. I also have disc launchers here, level 12. The same weapon exists in higher level categories. And this robot is pretty strong. It can do this. At the end of it, it triggers an area uh, EMP, disables the enemy for a few seconds, and activates a short, very short stealth on me. So this robot is very powerful, it's called the Surge Robot. Um, as you know, I know what I'm talking about. Poop! Disable EMP! Oh no, he did it with me too! Wait a minute, he can do that too? I'm surprised. Oh, I'm safe actually, I believe. Yeah, I, no, am I? Oh, No, I wasn't safe, it was not my shield barrier. Oh, it's also a Surge robot. It just has a different skin. Do you see how different the skins are in this game? Mech Arena is actually uh, monetizing skins much more than um, than they uh, than than uh, War Robots does. Uh, and oh, we lost this one. All right, so I'm gonna start the strong robot this time. And they are very unique skins. Uh, all right, so this here is the Gate Crasher robots. It's a real powerful tank. It has a lot of health. And I'm running the Graviton Beam as a weapon, which, um, once I hit the enemy, I, I basically trigger an effect that builds up and makes the enemy explode. And once they explode, they basically instantly die. Look at him, he's coming in. And boom, there we go. This is my most powerful robot. Because look how quickly the effect fills up with both Graviton Beams and how quickly I can laser down the enemy. It is so powerful. Boom! There goes this guy. He has a shield, but my my uh, ability that I shoot at him goes through the shield. Explodes behind the shield. Look what I'm doing to the enemy team. Holy smokes! Like I said, there are also a few problems in, uh, in Mech Arena. For example, matches are sometimes filled up with bots. If there are not enough players, it happens. Wow! And now I got destroyed very quickly by EM rifles. Good job, but look what I just did. Our team is completely in the lead now. Alright, let's run something we haven't run yet. Um, the Saphir robot. Saphir is a uh, assassin that can EMP with an EMP pulse around him. Alright, I have 30 meters range. Uh, and uh, I can do it now. Boop! Now he's disabled, and I can shoot him from above, which is critical hits again. Right? Counts as critical hits, dealing double damage with my assault rifles here. And I, uh, I think I even got a double kill. Yeah, nice. So, we, this time we won this match so much. That means it's a draw now. One lost, one round. There has to be one rematch to find out who's going to be winning uh, this match, right? So, there's one more robot somewhere. Where is it? Oh, there he is. Disable and kill. Boom. Nice. Save your robot is incredibly powerful and dangerous, but slow and doesn't have a lot of health. Let's, uh, no, let's do the kill shot first, again. Because I couldn't show you before what he can do, which is this. Okay, okay, okay. It's like Vortex. Boom! Boom, boom! Did you see that, man? Ah, dude, I love these weapons. They're so cool. It's exactly like Vortex. Fire, fire. Boom, boom. Nice, 35,000 damage with that hit. Of course, the damage output is significantly lower than... Um, than the other, but if you have a tactical game where people are playing difficult, uh, uh, um, you know, careful, this is really interesting. Whoa, did I get one shot it? I feel like I just got one shot it. All right, let's go with this thing again. 
And keep him, bring him down, then him. And boom, there he explodes. And from up here, we have a pretty good angle. Oh, I got it. Yep, there he goes. Sweet. And then firing this uh, charge uh, shot that I have. Boom. Uh, okay, I missed. But I almost got him. Look at this. I mean, this is just insane. I would probably say that this weapon uh, might be a little too powerful. Uh, obviously, uh, the same... Oh, 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 oh. It's the same mobile gaming industry. And you even he in this game also have content that is too powerful. I almost got him there. Um, oh, 11 to 12. 11 to 13. Oh, no. It looks like we're going to lose this, this match. Okay, gotten two kills. Maybe I, we can still win this. I can shoot him to his back. Oh no, I had to reload. No! My shots were just taking him down. It was such a close call, man. I'm MVP, but I couldn't get the finishing kill. I needed like 0.1 more second. And we would have won. Uh, well, we would have draw. It would have been a draw. And I think that it would have meant that we would have made another match. But uh, at the end of the game, you get uh, a nice summary uh, of all the things you've done. Uh, Neymar Jr. from uh, from a uh, event that they did. I have a, a lot of legendary pilots that I got for free just by playing the game and uh, logging in for seven days. It happens a lot. So, um, but um, again, the game also has its problems and. Uh, it also has certain things that are too powerful uh, and it also slaps ads in your face. This is the mobile gaming industry, ladies and gentlemen. Um, but uh, yeah, it's a, it's a real fun game. I, uh, I enjoyed a lot. And well, if, uh, if we can't do War Robots content from time to time, I keep you posted on the Battle Rack account status, uh, then maybe once a week or so we'll, we'll, we'll do more of it. Uh, from time to time. Of course, War Robots stays and I'll keep you up to date on that and make the test server and all the videos, right? Show you all the new and the old things like before. But um, I feel uh, also, I'm also interested in Mech Arena and... So, thanks for watching, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you uh, and uh, catch you in the next video. Manny signing off. Bye-bye.